Hello and welcome back to ExoDental Dialogue, the webinar. Today we meet again for Finance in the Dental Clinic, Part 2. Clinic management, efficiency and cost savings are the topics of today. But first of all, we'd like to thank you for joining our webinars, and especially the previous one, Finance in the Dental Clinic, Part 1, with which we even raised our numbers of viewers. We much appreciate you and our community of practitioners and the constant productive feedback we're receiving. On today's agenda, we have an interview with Christian Henrici, who is the CEO of Opti Health Consulting. We will talk about the IXO Ergonomy Guide, a helpful tool for your daily work. Um, we will have some time for your feedback and questions, which you can send right now during our webinar. And we will talk about the next new upcoming one. Let's get right into it. I had a chance to interview the specialist of Opti Health Consulting. I talked to Christian Henrici about clinic management and he answered our questions and gave us all needed advice. Let's have a look. Christian, thank you so much for participating at our Exo Dental Dialogue, the webinar. Um, you are a management training institution specialized in advising dental clinic management and leadership. Your motto is to help clinic and practice owners to become better and more successful. You're establishing personalized concepts to fit the needs of every individual clinic. Um, today in Exos webinar, we are focusing on the total cost of operation and particularly the issue of cost savings, since this has become very important to many, many practice owners after and now or before and now after Corona crisis. I guess that the issue of financials has always been important, but in your view, do you see any changes in terms of the focus or the way we talk about cost reduction in the dental clinic? Hey, Ricardo, thanks for having me here. Um, in general, uh, we see no cost problems uh, in our dental practices in Germany. You have um, you have a, a margin of more than thirty percent, and uh, what we see is that uh, you um, have particularly a revenue problem in some cases. So I would recommend to f first take a look at the revenues and second take a look at the cost and always uh, follow that order. And um, uh, I, I used to work in the United States with dentists. Um, I work with dentists uh, in some other place in the world and it's almost the same everywhere. So first revenues, second cost. All right. So do you have any specific recommendation in terms of clinic management? For instance, time management of staff or ways to cope with the new issue of necessary extra time of increased cleaning procedures? Yeah. Um, first, you you should take a look at the process. So what I see in dental clinics is and dental practices is that um, if the process needs too, ma too many staff and um, you're wasting personnel and you're wasting time, so the process um, of the um, of the patients come into the praxis, get the treatment, get out of the praxis. Um, what um, is the preparation for the treatment? Uh, what is the after preparation for the treatment? Um, so regularly, I would recommend to um, open your book with the patients and always reserve a pre-time, a pre-treatment time and uh, after treatment time so that you can manage the, um, the, the clear and clean treatment um, very well. So if you, um, if you have an appointment with a patient at 10 and you need a preparation for the patient for like 10 minutes, then in your book should uh, should be the information that uh, you have a preparation time from 10 to 10:10, 10, 10, and then the doctor is needed from 10:10 10, 10 to 10:30, 10, by example, and from 10:30 10, to 10:40, 10, it's uh, after preparation time where you don't need the doctor. Um, with this kind of method, we ha uh, we could manage um, four rooms or five rooms. Uh, with one doctor. Uh, my best doctor in Germany is managing eight rooms with eight different patients at one time. So um, it's all about the process um, to, to save money. Um, in, so my recommendation is um, it's not a quick win. 
uh, at all. But um, at least you should have start with it. You ha should have think about the process, um, and um, you're through in about like six weeks, and then it's uh, working out beautifully. All right. That really brings me to the next question because we have received so much feedback from so many different European dentists talking about increased turnaround time between patients because of the new cleaning procedures or increased cleaning procedures. Um, do you foresee a trend towards investing in more treatment rooms so that they can overcome the time loss? Is that a topic at the moment? Um, yeah, you, you could, more treatment rooms are, so the trend in Germany is since like 20 years, uh, get more treatment rooms, but you should have used them for treatment you, uh, room, uh, for, for treatments, but don't um, make the mistakes to build up a lot of more rooms for making the, like the hygiene or making like a, a staff room and making this kind of rooms. So you need clean treatment rooms. Um, with the the hygiene concept in these corona days um, you don't need to uh, do more in germany than you did before if you did it right before so um, you don't uh, so don't um, blow up your praxis with with a lot of more rooms who are who are not effective um, always use rooms to be more effective. So it must have been, they must have been treatment rooms. Perfect. I mean, that's really align what we think. I mean, if the procedure was good before, why, why have to change it? I mean, follow the rules, right? <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Um, the thing is, uh, here in Germany, we, we don't have um, uh, a tremendous problem. Uh, with with the hygiene and we never had a problem um, they started um, uh, like 15 years ago or 18 years ago to um, to the with a law uh, some some new hygiene laws and they um, they punished the doctors to 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 follow the rules pretty 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 tight so um, right now in these Corona days, they are all educated, already educated in a very good hygiene. And most of the practices I know already uh, use a very, very good hygiene method. So, uh, you just have to use it properly and then you can, um, you can, um, yeah, then you can work out, uh, work out with the patients and make confident and uh, bring up confidence to the patients and please communicate a good hygiene treatment to the patients. This is the only reason the patients are afraid to come to your praxis. Um, they don't know that you may be an expert in hygiene. And if there is an expert in hygiene for a long, long time ago, it's a dentist. The dentists worldwide are treated uh, um, are educated very well in hygiene uh, because of the aerosols. The problems of the aerosols is known since such a long time. So the give confidence um, to the patients, communicate that you are working out with the latest hygiene methods and that they don't have to worry uh, to come to your praxis. And this uh, brings in, in Germany us back to, I guess, right now it's I, I guess the 10th, the, the 11th of June. Uh, we are back uh, about like 90%, 93, 92% um, of the pre corona uh, days. So just communicate that everything is all right with your praxis and it must have been all right. So check it out, that is all right, get a certificate about it and so on. This is, this are my recommendations and this should be the goals of the practice. That's a really good advice. I mean, especially for dentists who are not really talking a lot with their patient or communicating, please talk about the good things in your clinic and these exactly. days actually about hygiene. So exactly. based on your experience with and conversation with many clinic owners over the last years, do you have any general piece of advice where to be extra mindful in terms of saving costs? Is there like the goal of advice you can give? 
Also es, like, like I said, it's not a quick win. It's a process where you can save a lot of money. And uh, if you need to have a quick win, um, I think it's it's not the best idea to get rid of the personal. So uh, what a lot of people uh, ask me is if they can uh, re get rid of the personal. But in the last years we had uh, in Germany we had tremendous personal problems because we have too few personal, too less personal. We have, there were uh, about ten thousands um, uh, workers for the dental practices are missing in Germany up to now. So. Um, now there's Corona and we say, okay, let's get rid of another thousand um, and our problem in the post-Corona uh, 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 year is we we are missing 11,000 people. So I, personal is not a good idea. Uh, to make the personal more efficient is a very good idea. Um, to educate may one 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 of your of your staff to make the um, prophylaxis or to make the bleaching treatments and uh, so that you are that you are free to um, uh, to to make the so don't that you don't have to make these treatments by your own so you can delegate these treatments this might be a, a, an idea and um, for you to think about is um, work more with a um, two-hand technique in, instead of the four-hand technique. So you might get rid of one person at the chair at that days and at that time, and they could work out and make own revenues and bleaching and, and prophylaxis. So, um, but there, as you see, there is no um, quick win. The quick win is to get rid of personal, and the quick win is um, to close your practice and don't make revenues. But this is not a very good idea. Better you get um, some credits if you need uh, cash at the moment. Um, work very hard on your processes. We have a lot of dentists in Germany. I think we have 108 um, practices since the Corona crisis who are working with us on the processes. So. Their mindset is uh, we want to make our processes clean and very proper and then we save money um, on the easy way. But it takes a little longer. It's not a quick win. Yeah, but maybe not a quick win is the, the, the easiest. Probably the, the long win is the one everyone is looking forward to. Um, exactly. But that, I mean, the, your feedback is really interesting because I think many people thought about, okay, so I need right now, let's say Corona crisis is for three months. So how can I make better money or be better with my money situation or cost situation? And your advice is more to right, really invest in your time and procedures and to find a really good, a really good line to follow after Corona crisis so that you even perform better than before. Is that equally relevant for already established clinics versus new clinic owners? Is that the advice you could give to everyone or is there a difference in between? Um, for the, uh, the established clinics, um, they work on the processes. For our founders, um, we are with like 60 to 80 founders every year. So uh, we try to bring them in the pro uh, position that they don't have to uh, um, reorganize um, their praxis after two or three years. We try to set them up um, very clean from their start on. So what I think is that the founders, um, they they just make it right. They make it with the data protect, they make it right in the data protection, in the hygiene and the quality management. They start up right. It's always much more expensive to um, to change an existing system later. So if you um, uh, if you have to reorganize your company uh, in order to data protection three years later because you don't want to do it at the, from the beginning as a founder, it's I think five fifths or six or tenth time the money ten make it costs so much more. Um, uh, in um, in comparison to do it uh, from the startup. So what we think and what we force is to work from a startup proper. And if you're in a established clinic, uh, 
you you have to change the way you you treat your patients you make your process clean uh, think about data protection it's in in the european union it's it's raising up so much so if you have a problem there you will have a very very big problem in in future so um these are the things you should think of uh, right now. All right. Christian, thank you so much for all your feedback, all your recommendations and all your advices to everyone. I think it's very, especially in these times, very needed. So we all need someone to hold our hands and say, you know, if you do this and this and this, everything will be good again. Um, thank you so much for taking the time. And right. I think if everyone has any questions, please feel free to send us an email or send you an email. Um, I will bring the link in later on today in the webinar. Thank you so much, Christian. Have a wonderful day. Thanks, Luciana. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Uh, well, that was very good feedback. Thank you so much, Christian, again, for joining us in our EXO Dental Dialogue, the webinar. Um, if you have any questions or comments, just send us your questions right now underneath here or send us an email at info at care.com. Well, that brings me to the next topic of the day, the ergonomy guide. Together with Westerburger Kontakte, a leading German dental training institution, and Dr. Dieter Reusch, dentist and founder of Westerburger Kontakte, we developed a ergonomy guide, a helpful tool which supports you on your day-to-day -day work. Basic information about ergonomically correct working positions, sit well, see well, work well, is the key to reduce cost while operating efficient. The ergonomy guide looks basically like that. So you can see that you have four pictures of it. So these are actually kind of like a software. So you can first of all see how you treat the patient, how you sit at the lower and upper jaw treatments. Then you can see how you position your patient. You can see how the dental team should work together. And you have the dental arch on which you can see different setups on different tooth surfaces while you're working on it. But we will come to that a little bit later. Um, saving time. Working dual with perfectly placed instruments will save time and you can treat more patients. So saving time while doing dual work. The ergonomy guide looks a bit like this when you start it. So you press on start application and then you have different overviews of how to work with it as I showed you before. But the most important part is how you can maximize your productivity. And I personally believe it's all about the distance. How is the distance in between um, your, the patient's mouth and the cabinet? How is the distance between you and your assistants? Can you see and work well? Um, so everything works fine together. I think that the slightly smaller and slightly longer distance is the key to not bend your, bend your back or strain your back. So you can really work safe while being on the patient and you t save so much time because you don't have to look for any other parts or instruments or tray systems because everything is prepared and is reachable. So that brings me to the topic of teamwork. I think it's very important if, you, if we talk about saving time because that is when you work four-handed. So four-handed dentistry, I can see you here or give you here a little overview. The dentist should work in the position between 9 and 12 o'clock and the assistant works according to that between the one and four o'clock position. Again, this is just a little advice. This is nothing written in stone, I always say. So if you feel more comfortable in some positions um, or in some, some positions at one um, o'clock, that's not a problem and your assistant can work together. But the goal is that everyone can see and sit well at the same time in order to work well. Um, the next slide basically shows you the different options you have in order to work together with your assistant um, in order to reach different two surfaces in a direct view. The perfectly placed instruments are the key to your success. So you and your team, you can reach the instrument at the same time. No one has to bend over. You can really focus on the mouth of the patient. So the short distance placed instruments are basically you can see them out of your reach of your eyes, so you don't have to focus on them. You can only focus on the treatment. You don't look away from the mouth of the patient into something different and then have a change in the, in the light. You can focus on the tooth of the patient while concentrating on your work with 
without thinking about everything around because the setup is right, the distances are right, the assistant knows what she's doing and that will basically save a lot of time. And you have a lot of work, uh, fun at work. Saving costs. Working solo, it makes it super efficient. And even in places with lack of staff, this may be even a preferred option so you can continue working on your patients and don't have to cancel appointments. Solo work. So if we start the application here, you can see that it's the same setup, only with one dentist working on one patient. Um, and here's the key that you have the possibility to treat the patient in the same way, so you don't have a lack of distances or instruments how to work with it. Again, here's the overview of different options. So you can see here the an, an example of, for example, 1.5 to 1.4, the buckle direct view with a helpful tool. So you see how the patient is positioned. You can see how the dentist is positioned according to the surface of the teeth he's treating. Um, and you see the full setup when the patient and the dentist are coming together. Here is, I think, very important to say that you need a helping tool. For example, an Optragate as we have it here. But for us, coming from XO, the XO Ambidex suction hose holder is the key to the success. So it's completely placeable where you want it, so it turns around about or spins around about the head of the patient, so you can really have it very close to you, so you have again a short reaching distance in order to be efficient. Um, or if you turn around about the head of the patient and come to the 12 o'clock position, you can actually lower the suction hose holder without only, with only touching it, so it's quite very flexible. The details on this page is that you can actually see that just while changing the position of the head of the patient and implementing these helpful tools like an Optra gate or this little extra suction, um, you can have a direct view while working alone and you don't have to miss out on your standards because we talked about the possibility of working duo and at the same time you have on the same unit with the same tools the possibility to work solo as well. So. It is sometimes that you have a situation where you don't have staff ready to work with you and then you want to have your standards in order to treat or give the best possible treatment and that is when you work solo and with that setup to bring everything a little bit closer to have the same reaching distances um, you can actually do that at the same clinic that's for me the key so you don't have to start your cleaning thinking about so what is it on long term with my unit it is I have a situation where I have full staff here and everything runs according to what I want to do. That's fine, you can have the right unit for it. Or you would actually adapt to the needs of your current situation. Maybe you have a lot of people calling in sick or like Corona crisis where no one should really come to work or you limit the staff. Um, you can work the same setup alone. Um, if you are actually interested about the ergonomy guide, just please send us an email to info at xocare.com and we can definitely help you and show you even more tips and tricks around that. And for your information, the Vesterboer Contactor, which we talked about initially, they are offering courses on working correctly in order to accomplish the ergonomically correct way of working. Thank you very much for participating at today's webinar, Finance and the Dental Clinic Part 2, in which we talked about clinic management, efficiency and cost savings. Stay tuned and sign up for our newsletter to find out about the next webinar which is taking place in August. See you soon and stay healthy. Thank you so much.